welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So since my video when I done a test, testing whether all sims sync the same, I wanted to do another video within that kind of lane. I really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd test whether all sims are bisexual. But as my research in the video was going deeper and deeper and I was covering more things, I thought, ah... I don't just want to test whether all sims are bisexual. I want to do a full history of sexuality in the sims because it's a very big thing. As non-existent as it is, arguably, it's a very big thing. Instead, sit back, relax. These jeans give me a wedgie so I'll relax as best I can. So instead, that's what we're going to be doing. An entire history, sexuality in the sims. Starting from Sims 1, it was released in the year 2000. So it's important to know and contextualise the times of these games being released. Don't pit these games against 2019 norms and values, otherwise you will get offended. So don't do that. Always keep in mind when things got released. The 90s was a bizarre time. In America, you couldn't stand in the army if you were gay. You, there was the whole don't ask, don't tell rule. Clinton designed the Defence of Marriage Act, which stated that marriage was a union between men and women. Okay. In a nutshell, at the time of the year 2000, gay people didn't have a lot of rights. To be honest, after researching it, I'm not even sure if it was fully legal to be gay. There's a case in 2003 called Lawrence versus Texas, which legalizes same-sex conduct. But I'm not even sure it's, if it's specifically just to a couple of states and if it was gay, if it, if it was gay, <laughs> woo, if it was legal to be gay in all of the states before that, I'm not sure. So let me know in the comments, cause that's, that's bizarre. Being gay was wasn't as accepted as it is now. But The Sims has actually been quite progressive since its first release in 2000, even considering the societal backdrop for the game to be released. You could happily flirt with another sim regardless of whether you were a girl or a boy or they were a girl or a boy, you were free to do all of that. You could engage in a relationship with them. You could even adopt a child together. That's pretty progressive. And you could join the military career track even if you were loud and proud about being in a relationship with the same sex. You could ask, you could tell. Even in The Herbs, which is a spin-off of the original Sims game, but for consoles. There was even a mission where you're involved in a love triangle between a male and a female and you had to pick between them both. So even then, there's a whole notion of bisexuality that's just completely normalized, which I think is great. Obviously, as you can see, it's been very inclusive from the start. The only thing that The Sims couldn't do at this time was marry each other, but it was made in 2000s America. And I still think America were quite a long way off from gay marriage at that point. And also, I don't think that there was anything to indicate whether your sims actually had a sexual preference, whether they preferred any type of gender. I think it's completely up to you with this. I don't think there's any type of system in place. It's just whoever you want to go with, go with. And then we move forward from this onto The Sims 2. The Sims 2 was released in 2004. It's completely legal to be gay. Some states even have civil unions. And thankfully, The Sims 2 followed suit. Is that the right term? I don't know. I always say these terms and then I say them out loud and I'm like, is that even real? <clears throat> anyway, it became more inclusive. Gay sims could now get married. It didn't hold the same title as a heterosexual relationship. It was called a joint union for gay sims or a marriage for straight sims. But these joint unions could adopt kids too, which again, great. And then The Sims 2 did introduce a system where your sims did have sexual preferences, which is quite bizarre. Not bizarre as in bad, by the way, just bizarre as in different from what we know. I would just like to clarify that when I say bizarre and different, I don't mean it as a bad thing, as in why are they even letting gay people on The Sims? I'm not homophobic, just to let you all know. I mean it in the sense of a lot of people who play The Sims now have come straight from The Sims 4, where it had The Sims 1 kind of style with sexual preference. So it's very bizarre to look back at The Sims 2 and for the actual big gender preference. No, 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 sexual preferences. It's been a long day, guys, and I'm hungover, but I'm not homophobic. Just let you know. This sexual preference though isn't able to be seen in game. It, you do have to access this through to cheats. Like build prop test and cheat is an able true with the absolute gem. Love that cheat. Or by using an external program such as SimPE. And the preference was shown as either neutral or preferring female or male sims. What's cool about this is that it wasn't set in stone. If your sim showed a preference towards like in male sims, you didn't just have to go for the male sims. You could make your sims straight, you could make them bi, gay, whatever. It was completely up to you. They just had a preference there if you wanted to go and act on it. And I like this because it's inclusive, but it also gives more control and power to the player. So it lets us play our own world. Because sometimes, you know, when you make a sim and you're like, hmm, hmm. 
I don't think you were fully straight. If the preferences did say straight, it would kind of be annoying to only have them act upon that. So it's nice to be able to be like, nah, you're gay. And then The Sims 3 was released in 2009 and much like the earlier games, it was much more inclusive. Any Sim can now get fully married. Doesn't matter what your sexual preference is, any Sim. And it's a full marriage as well. It's not like a civil partnership and a marriage. It's just a full marriage. Marriage to everybody. This town is big enough for all of us. So it's great that they're re great that they're recognised as the same Sim. Oh my God. It's great that they're recognised as the same thing regardless of sexual preference. And as well, if you have Into the Future, you can also have two gay Sims construct their own kid. Because obviously it's like way in the future, isn't it? So two gay Sims can have a biological child. I mean, it's only if you've got into the future, but you know, that that's pretty cool. The fact that that was a thought is cool as well from the developers. And it did follow the same kind of system of The Sims 2. The Sims did have a sexual preference, but it's not as easy to see. You couldn't just pop in like www, Shift Control C, is my Sim gay? And it come up. You couldn't do that. It's like quite hidden. And then from this, we move on to The Sims 4, which we're all playing now. We all know The Sims 4. A lot of you have only started on The Sims 4 and you just don't know the earlier versions of the game, which is why I thought it's very important to cover the context of other games so you just know how far we've come or how far far we've went back in other cases. Open world. I know that sexual preference and being trans aren't all that linked. I know that there is like big distinction between the two but they are both part of the LGBTQ plus community. I wanted to mention them in this video because it's just great in it. So The Sims 4 actually gives you the option to be trans which is one of the best things I've ever seen The Sims do because everybody kind of lives vicariously through The Sims and I'm so glad that more people can do it now. I would hate to already have this internal struggle with myself because it's I think like trans people have some of the highest rates of suicide. You know, it's not easy <laughs> to be trans and to not be able to play your story through in The Sims would be quite hard. But now that you can, I think that's great. And also just normalising it, getting rid of this hetero normalisation where everybody's straight and that's that. And I think that's one of the biggest things with progression is more people getting to know stuff and being like, oh yeah, that's normal. Maybe when I was a kid, if someone said to me, oh, there's boys that want to be girls or girls that want to be boys, I'd be like, that's unheard of. Kids now that grow up and play The Sims and if someone says, oh, some boys want to be girls, you could be like, yeah, you already know because that's in my game. Am I even explaining this right? I don't know. But I think it's great that things are being more normalised and seen. Turn light on, I've done absolutely nothing. Oh well. Homosexual, heterosexual and trans sims are all of the same social standing as well. So they can do all of the same things, get married, adopt kids. And homosexual sims can also have a kid together through create a sim. Now that is great. Granted they can't do it in person, like when you're actually playing the sims, but the fact that it's an option, great. Grand, love that. However, things have changed and there is no sexual preference in the sims 4 like there was in the sims 2 and the sims 3. Their sexuality is 100% fluid. If you want to go and flirt with the girl, you go flirt with the girl. And the next day, if we want to be to be a boy, go flirt with the boy. There is no internal preference to either female or male Sims. Just literally, whoever you choose to flirt with, they'll flirt with. And I think The Sims 4 kind of copies The Sims 1 sometimes. Like the whole baby not being able to get out the cot thing, which is bad. But I think in this instance, taking a leaf out The Sims 1's book has been great. And I do think that Sims should be 100% fluid with the sexuality. In conclusion, it's from a university, yes it is, wow. I do think that The Sims was completely ahead of its time in terms of inclusivity. Reading people's stories as well, it just shows how important it is to people that The Sims has been so inclusive and how integral it's been to people finding out who they are and playing their own lives through and being able to feel as part of a community. I read one story and it's said they describe The Sims as a world where I didn't have to hide or pretend to be interested in marrying a girl. To be able to have that control to basically see what I wanted to come to life was amazing and that's outstanding. Thankfully I haven't had any of those trials and tribulations in life. I am a white English straight girl so I've had it pretty easy but some people don't and being able to give them that avenue to go down and be like, you know what, you're actually normal. Go and play yourself being normal because you're normal because it is normal is great. Giving people the option to be themselves when being themselves in public may have led to them being ostracised. Oh, it's revel just great, isn't it? It's brought a whole community of people together. I mean, look at the English summer. This Let's Play is going to be like heavily focused LGBTQ+ relationships and all of that good stuff. It's just amazing the amount of people that will have felt wanted and not just normal. I'm going to repeat the word normal because I think sometimes gay people, trans people, bi people, whatever people are sometimes shown as being the other and the not. 
I just have a lot of feelings, all right? I'm, I'm thankful for people like the ones who work at The Sims. I'm thankful for people like Molly, the English swimmer, for bringing that to the forefront. And I think it's great as well, because if you want to make your entire world gay, you can. I didn't expect to feel so emotional throughout this video. I really didn't. <laughs> but rights are something that I feel so strongly in my heart. I don't even care how soppy that sounds. I just, you can disagree with ever getting an abortion yourself and still support other women getting abortions. And you can be white, but still act knowledge and protest against systematic or even not even just systematic but all forms of racism and you can be straight and still support the lgbtq plus community but if i am going to continue supporting the lgbtq plus community i just need to let you know anyone who's part of this community you just need a short name that's six syllables that's a syllable a letter no i'm joking i'll support you no matter what well that's the end of this video it was quite emotional for me at least that's about it that's all i've got to say keep on keeping on you live your life through the sims please subscribe comment <laughs> why is this so awkward and i'll see you in my next video i'll see you all after bye